Welcome to part two of the wave tutorial, dynamic paint. Part two, we're going to be texturing our canvas as well as our little bobber here. So let's go ahead and get started. You want to right click on the canvas and you're going to go up here to material and we're going to be adding in a material. So for diffuse, you're going to click on the color here and there's different hexadecimal codes um, you can look up online I'm just going to go ahead and pick kind of a like light blue color if you want um, this one was good B2 and then FFFF it's kind of a light blue and once you put it in let's see let's change the intensity to one and for specular it's going to be on white you want to make sure that it's on cook tour and then change the hardness to 127 okay so those two things changing the diffuse as well as the specular settings and then hit F12 and you can see it's kind of like a light blue color for the water you can always go back and change these if you want to mix it up. Um, I've tried doing the transparency as well as mirror. And basically what it does is triple the render time. So for my class, I'm just going to leave these two because I want us to be able to render it within the 45 minute class period. Okay, so go ahead and get a color that you like for the water. Hit F12, check it, make sure it looks nice. Um, also under shadow here just go ahead and you want to make sure that receive is checked cache buffer shadows is checked uncheck auto ray bias and make sure cast approximate is checked and that'll give you a nice little render there okay so once you have the water colored in we're gonna start with the bobber so you're gonna right click the cylinder on the top and make sure you're on material and click new and the top part the top cylinder is going to be red so go to diffuse here and the color code for red is FF and then four zeros that'll give us a nice red color once you've done that go ahead and right click on the UV sphere part of the bobber and let's click new and once again we are going to give it a red color so FF four zeros there and then what we're going to do is we are going to use this blue arrow so left click and drag the blue arrow raise the bobber up out of the water and we're gonna color the top part of this white so in order to do that we need to select the faces. Okay, so let's go into edit mode and let's choose face select mode. And we're going to press A to unselect all the faces that were selected. And we're going to use the circle tool to select it. So if you press C on your keyboard, that'll give you this little circle. And use your scroll wheel, scroll towards yourself, make that circle bigger and to select it you're gonna left click with your mouse and that'll select the faces and then to get out of circle mode right click with your mouse okay and you should have basically this top part selected there's one more row that I want to select so I'm gonna hold shift and right click and select that top part and if you mess up, you can always do Control Z, which is what I just did. And once you have them selected, what we're going to do is add a white material to the top. All right, so they're all selected there. I got that top half of the UV sphere selected. So I'm going to click plus to add a new material and then click new 
and under diffuse let's give it a white color so white would be six F's and then you want to click assign and that will assign the material and once you have that you can go into object mode and hit F12 and go ahead and check it out and that looks really nice we've got um, the top of the bobbers red top half of the UV sphere is white and then red and you can see the faces of it so let's go ahead and do some fine tuning here we can go over to this left side here and under shading they have smooth so you can click smooth and that will really make it look a lot nicer you won't see the faces as much and it won't turn make the render time increase that much as well alright so once we have that we can do alt a check out our animation okay it looks good the only thing left to do is maybe add some lighting and fix the cameras so I'll go to say frame 40 and you know what let's do the camera first I'm gonna go down here get the double arrow right click let's split the area and you can get rid of this by pressing T and on this right side I'm gonna be in camera view and then I'm gonna use the left side to move the camera where I want it and actually let's go to render here and under dimensions make sure you're on TV PAL 4x3 and that'll make the camera more square and what I'm going to do is basically move the camera up let's see I'm going to press 7 so I can view it from the top and I'm going to use rotate to rotate the camera here and I'm basically going to make it so my camera is kind of looking down there we go and you just want to get as much of the plane as you can you can always hit S and increase the size of it just a little bit there we go let's hit alt A and let's watch it okay so most of it let's see nope all of it is within the camera now so we look pretty good so what I'm going to do is right click here and join the area together and I'm going to hit F12 just to see like let's go to frame 40 hit F12 see how it looks the lighting could be a little better so what I'll do is I'll select the light I'll do shift D and just drag some light over here and then hit F12 and look at it again and it looks a little nicer so I'm going to add a light maybe to this corner here and then do shift D add another light here and I'll go back into camera view and basically maybe just move these I'll put a light source do shift D move another light source in this corner and move it up basically just go throughout your animation maybe every 20 frames hit F12 look at it see how nice it looks and then once you're satisfied with it you're gonna go into the render mode your dimensions will be TV PAL 4x3 your frame rate will be 29.97 you're gonna save it as an AVI codec 
and then you need to click on output you're gonna go to the 506 turn in folder wave folder go to your period and then go ahead and put your name and click accept and then the last thing you need to do is go to animation and let it render out and once it's done rendering you finish the assignment